<laughs> Brian, um... <laughs> I'm not losing my fish. I'm grabbing the hook. Little piece of bread on there. <laughs> lower, lower. Oh, man. <laughs> We got the boat in the water. We got our new bait. Let the games begin. Whoop. <laughs> Guys, this is fun. <laughs> Catching fish with an RC boat. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brian, the CEO here. Thank you for clicking on this episode. All right, so in today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about me, about my past. You know, I've done music videos. I've done promos for car companies, wheel companies. I've done all kinds of stuff. I've done model shoots. And I'm just trying to figure out a way to incorporate all of that into one kick-ass, like, show or channel. I got into the whole fishing thing when I called Mike and I was like, hey man, you got a good following on Instagram. Um, I got an idea. Let's make some fishing videos and see where we can go with it on YouTube. I got a pretty successful channel for the Monster Mike channel and I'm trying to build this channel back up. You know, uh, I had old videos on my channel that YouTube told me I had to remove um, for monetization purposes. Um, it's because I used to work with models, so I had like bikini models and stuff on the channel, and they told me to be able to monetize my channel because they demonetized it that I had to delete everything. Well, what that did was all of my stats, all of my views, which was millions of views, all of my good stuff that helped my algorithm. Um, cause if you look back on my videos, I was getting 30,000 views on, on my videos, um, fishing with my daughter and stuff like that. And the day that they told me I need to delete it, the old content, which was all on private. Uh, but the day they told me to delete it, from that day on, I can barely scrape up a couple thousand views. I'm lucky to get a thousand right now, you know? So it completely kicked me out of the algorithm. I'm just trying to get back into it, you know what I'm saying? But just a little bit about my past, I did a lot of car audio stuff. I had a Honda Civic with 415 inch subwoofers, 7,000 watts of power. I would drive around the country filming car shows, races, and base competitions and stuff like that. Uh, here's a couple clips of some insane just systems. Um, I'm sure you've seen videos online and stuff with the girl's hair just blowing everywhere. Well, that's the kind of stuff that I used to do. And I met a lot of awesome people. I'm gonna try and figure out a way to incorporate some of the car stuff into the fishing and see if I can come up with another new concept for a show. So if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing, Comment below um, and, and let me know, you know, I, I, I would gladly get out to some more car shows and show these custom cars and these loud systems and drag racing and everything, as long as I can involve fishing. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to the trivia winner from the last video and it's cool one. I appreciate you following and watching all the videos and following me on Instagram. So congrats, you got all the questions right. There will be another trivia question coming up at the end of this video. So you'll have a chance to answer the questions and win. All you're gonna to have to do is comment your answers below and I will pick one lucky winner to be shouted out. When filming videos for YouTube, 
everything doesn't work out perfect. Things don't always happen the way you anticipate them happening. A lot of times Mike and I will go get a cheap toy or something to use and this particular time we grabbed a cheap drone. And it was a very windy day and the drone had very short battery life. So first of all, it was way too windy to do this. So I'm flying the drone and literally every time the wind would blow or gust, the drone, no matter what direction I was pushing it, would just blow. And we were in a spot where it was kind of swirling around. So depending if I was here or here, it would go this way or that way. So here's a couple times where I'm trying to fly the thing and it just has a mind of its own. Oh my gosh, look at this, look, look, look with the fishing line. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we have a drone right here. I'm, I'm gonna slap some Wonder Bread on. I'm grabbing the hook. Little piece of bread on there. <laughs> It's cool how it just sits there. All right, guys. So I got the, I got the, I got the bait on here. So we are baited up, ready to go. Got the bait right there dangling. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, uh, uh. Forward, forward. It was hot. It's wind. Oh, it's so windy. Come here, come here, come here. Where you going in your car? <laughs> All right, so Brian is testing out the drone. You want to give it a run? Let's give it a run. Yeah, let's go put some uh, bread on here. All right, so we're going to add some bread to the drone. <laughs> like that? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right, so we got the bread on the hook on the drone. Oh shoot, oh Brian, Brian, Brian. Oh, 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 oh. Down. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no, that's no. a tree. No, 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 no. Looks like I'm climbing in the uh, bushes, Mike. I think we can get that. I think we can. Where is that? Oh man. All right, so we're trying to figure out how to uh, get the drone back. As you see, it's like right here, stuck in the tree. Oh, careful, careful. Wow. Yeah, these are all little sharp spikes. Right here. Go ahead, Asian monkey. These little cheap drones is not easy. Nah, they lightweight. Cause we'll Brian, Brian, Brian can fly a real drone like a pro. All right, take off, take off number 80. There it goes. Bro, look yeah. at that, that is sick. Okay, now down. It's just when I get close to the water, there's wind blowing right across. Okay, lower, lower. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's it right there. That's it right there, baby. Right. Oh, right there. Oh my gosh. Bro, this is gonna work. No, no. No, Brian, no. Got it, got it. You got it. Because, guys, if we touch the water for a second, that's it. It's just going to go... You mean like that? No! No, Brian, are you serious? I ran out of battery. No! Guys, comment below, Titanic, rest in peace, drone. I know that's too much. You ain't got to do it, but if you do it, I'll like it. Yo, hey. Guys, hey, we tried. We tried to catch a fish with a drone. To end the video, without... I don't even think we got a fish that day. Maybe we got one small one, but to end the video, Mike literally jinxed the crap out of me. The moment he said if it goes in the water, or I hope it doesn't go in the water, the battery was dying, the wind was pulling it, like, I can't even explain what happened. I was just, all I know is I was pushing up and the drone was going down. And that's how it ended. We also use the RC boat. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check out the Monster Mike channel. Here's a couple little highlights from that. We used a big RC, well, I gotta back up. The RC boat is actually like this big. And it has um, a little piece that comes off the back where you can hook the fishing line to. So we used the RC boat, used some live shiners. All we did was put them on the dock, take off with the boat, shiner would plop in the water, and literally peacock bass would come up and just 
crush the shiners as they're going through the water. I actually had to dive in, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second, to go get the boat because the peacock bass that I got was so strong that it actually flipped the boat over and I had to jump in the water to uh, go get the boat because I didn't want to lose it. Woo! Woo! And there's the bait. There's the bait. Yeah, we got the first fish. We got him. We got him. No, 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 no. We gotta get him tired. Trying to turn it. Oh, this way. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And we did it, guys. We did it. We got the first fish. Oh, well, that didn't take long. Oh, okay, I'll grab this. We got the boat. <laughs> Wait. Oh. <laughs> and guys, today we're using circle hooks just so we don't hurt the fish. And there we go. The RC boat caught our first fish. So Peacock bass. <laughs> guys, that didn't take long. As soon as the bait got off the dock, boom. Brian, the CEO, is up next. We got the... We got the boat in the water. We got our new bait. Let the games begin. Whoop. All right, we got our bait on there. Let's see what hits. <laughs> Guys, this is fun. <laughs> Catching fish with an RC boat. Look at that. <laughs> Look, RC boat, fish. RC boat, fish. <laughs> Guys, we are ripping lips with the RC boat. And look, every hook says in the corner of the lip, circle hook. No, no. Already he's chasing? Oh, you're on goal, Brian, Brian, Brian! No, what are you gonna do? I'm about to dive in. He's better than Trey Songs on a good day. <laughs> Get that fish, bro. Get that fish, bro. Oh my gosh, you got it. I got me a peacock. You got a peacock? Hey, we almost lost the boat. We almost lost a fish, but guess what? <laughs> that, boy, that boy, a dolphin. Guys. This is the best RC boat day in the freaking, oh, in the world. Here. Get to this ladder. <laughs> oh. Is the fish still on? Fish is still on. Oh man, guys, this is epic. <laughs> guys, the boat flipped. Here's the line. <laughs> oh, oh, he's pulling. Yeah, he's pulling. There he is, here, bring the boat up. <laughs> Guys, bro, the boat flipped. Boat Brian. Done, guys. Ah. And we got him. Look at this. Look at this. Brian. Um. <laughs> I'm not losing my fish. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brian, you're the real MVP right now. Hey. Yeah, I wouldn't have went in there because you know I would have just went bloop and went straight to the bottom because you know I haven't really. You know how when everybody had those like swimming lessons back then, you know, I was I was the guy that didn't really pay attention, so I still to this day, you know, not really know how to swim. Yeah, I guess, there's Loch Ness monsters in there. So Loch Ness. Be careful. Woo! <laughs> On the boat, baby. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go re go relax. And make sure you check out all the other RC boat videos because we got a bunch of them. We got RC boats. We got RC helicopters. We got RC drones. And uh, they're all on the Monster Mike channel, so make sure you go check them out. It's time for trivia, and the winner of this trivia question will be shouted out in the next video. Guys, I hope you're paying attention. So here's the trivia questions. Um, how many 15-inch subwoofers were in my Honda Civic? And trivia question number two, why did we have to end the drone video? Here's a thought for you guys, um, and it's helped me a lot. Uh, basically, I think it goes 10% of life is what happens to you and 90% of life is how you react to it and basically that means
It's going to happen. But are you going to sit there and just dwell in it? Or are you going to step up and push through it? You know, there, a lot of bad stuff's happened to me in my life. The only thing is I don't sit and dwell on it. If I made a mistake, I figure out how to correct my mistake. If someone else did something, I just keep it moving. I don't care. So everything in life, you have a choice to focus on how bad it is or to keep moving forward and figure out a way to counter that and to move on. You know, so uh, guys, till next time, tight lines, keep your head up and always keep moving forward. I think I said that backwards, but you know what I mean? See you next time, guys. I'm out. They say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just laid a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Slay like a savage, we're slicking the best.